<laughs> Lemon to a Knife Fight from the new record. Uh, a song that you wrote when you spent time in L.A., I understand. Uh, well, I live there, yeah. The, there. So, the song is kind of um, about a, a fairly massive argument my wife and I had on Mulholland Drive. And I've been watching like a lot of David Lynch and it seemed to kind of all come together. Put together. What did you see when you were driving around Mulholland Drive that we normally wouldn't see on one of those tourist tours? Uh, well, my wife screaming at me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit B, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rock star getting into a quarrel with his wife. <laughs> uh, early on, you guys went to school, or in 2003, you went to a performing arts school in Liverpool. You got together and uh, started putting out a lot of music. Uh, talk about some of those early days of forming a band and some like memorable or like not so memorable uh, gigs, starting as the, uh, the Wombats. I mean, our very, very first, first gig one. was so fresh. Todd? Um... Yeah, I was kind of in this bar called Hannah's Bar. This kind of like, it used to be open mic nights and stuff. Um, and it was this upstairs section where it was like, I think it was 10 pounds, drink as much as you want, and you watch a few bands or whatever. And yeah, we were one of the bands playing. Um, we were wearing like jester hats. Yeah, we had some <laughs> weird kind of... Sunglasses? <laughs> comedy it, kind of... Striper jumpers. And what, even, what were we even doing? I don't know. I mean, I think it was a rebellion against um, being in a music school where everyone's like really good on their instruments and proper, proper. And I think, um, like to start with, anyway, it was just like, right, how can we do something that's definitely not like that? Um, yeah, there was a lot of kind of like funk and very like jazzy stuff happening. Yeah, it's funny that we actually in the set at the moment we are bringing back some of those funky yeah, moments. Yeah, we're having a good we? time. We have a bit yeah. of a, uh, <laughs> bit of a you know, elevator, over. Um, Yeah. Lounge jam, music. Lounge <laughs> Maybe um, sell uh, some of those outlandish outfits as merch. Hey, yeah. anything to make a buck, right? <laughs> but it was only that first gig we ever did that. And, and yeah. it was actually an American guy who bought them, wasn't it? Was it? Just Ben? Yeah, I think so. There was, this, there was another guy in the band to start with um, from Orange County. And I'm pretty sure he was the one who bought the Jester hats, actually. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And that's kind of where the name came from as well, because we needed a name for the poster. Right. Um, and then we got stuck with it. What was that? <laughs> you got to make out. You got to make something of it. It right? doesn't matter what you call, does it? Really? Was uh, was uh, Wombo the? Uh, if I read this correctly, uh, a fictional character you created? Wombo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, was it? There, I mean, were, there were lots of like silly conversations going on, and there still are, to be honest. But um, the no, what, yeah, not really. I mean, there was. Yeah, Charles the Goat and Wombo the Wombat. And, um, and his pet otter. And his pet otter. Yeah. That was the name of our first EP, first wasn't it? EP, yeah, yeah. So. The first EP we ever did was Sergeant, Wombo. Sergeant Wimbo. Oh, Sergeant Wimbo and, and his, his pet, pet and otter. And his pet otter EP. <laughs> and um, did it have any songs that made it onto the first album on it? No, no. I don't think so. No. Um, and there was a Shit. song on there called The Ostrich Song. So Which there was, was lots of animals right. going around. Yeah. And, yeah. And wombos, uh, wombats are, you know, from Australia, mm. right? So this is just a whole world of, of animals, you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean. did, did, did Wombo know any groundhogs? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Probably did, well, yeah. He, he didn't, there was no mention of groundhogs at the time, but um, okay. I'm sure what he watched would the film at some pet groundhog be called? <laughs> um, Jim. Probably Jim, yeah. yeah. Jim the groundhog. Jim, Jim the groundhog. Yeah. Fred the ferret, maybe. Yeah. No, there was actually a ferret called Murph. We had a bus driver, um, Al, who um, he got a ferret whilst he was on tour with us. And he was like, I named the ferret Murph. And we were like, that's the best thing ever. That there is a, and every time we see him now, it's like, oh, how's Murph doing? He's like, oh, he's great. Uh, so, he's very cute. He is. Uh, he ate my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but when I first heard of you, it was about 10 years ago with your uh, song, Let's Dance to Joy Division which is a great song. And uh, kind of put you guys on the map here in the uh, the U.S. I assume there's a great song about dancing to Joy Division behind the song? Um, yeah, it was kind of uh, based on a night uh, in this bar called Carova, which was somewhere that we used to go pretty much three nights a week. Sadly, it's no longer there. Sadly, it's no longer there, but it was very much like the hub of the kind of Liverpool music scene in 2000 and five, Four, five six, yeah. um yeah and one night kind of everyone was on tables dancing to love will tear us apart and um i guess i was struck with the kind of irony or the juxtaposition between everyone having fun and him singing about um you know such heavy topics right mm. is uh, peter hook a fan of the song i believe so yeah we did a gig with him he played he came um, on stage and played on backfire at the disco yeah 
That yeah. must have been uh, incredibly satisfying and thrilling. Yeah, it was really yeah. cool. He was really nervous. He, he was he more was, nervous like, than us. Yeah. yeah, it was this small venue in Newcastle called the Clooney, and he was, you know, it's Peter Hook, obviously, and he was like before, and he was going, "Oh, a bit nervous about this one, lads." And we were like, "You're Peter Hook. What are you talking about? You're nervous." <laughs> he was like, "I haven't done a gig for like six months because he'd been DJing loads or yeah. something, I think." So he was like, he was, yeah, he was warming up and getting ready, but then he just <laughs> dropped his bass down to his knees and just went. And he had his foot on the monitor, didn't he? Yeah. We were just playing like, wow, this is insane. Yeah. <coughs> I'm Peter Hook. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs>